Hi guys, Ben here, The Lean Architect. I just wanted to show you around a house that uh, we finished earlier in the year. And this is a really special house because it overcame a really challenging site. So what we have here is a really long, skinny uh, site. It's actually a subdivided suburban block. And the traditional solution would be what the neighbors have done next door here, which is build this massively oversized uh, house <laughs> here. And They've got their backyard facing south, which is always shaded, it's always cold, um, and it's just a monstrosity. Very expensive um, site works to achieve a house like this. And so on a limited budget, we wanted to provide a family home for our clients. Um, they've got young kids and they wanted to have a big outdoor space. And also they wanted all the, all the benefits of solar passive design and, and passive house as well. And what we, the solution we came up with was to actually site the house all the way back on the block, facing north, um, to give them a big north-facing garden. And we found a flat patch of land at the very back of the block that was quite easy to build on. Um, and that allowed us to you know, save some money from the earthworks and upgrade the house and to give them a street-facing garage, you can see behind me, and uh, gatehouse. The house design is actually quite simple. It's just a two-storey uh, volume with living and one master bedroom on the ground floor. And then upstairs, they've got all the uh, family bedrooms. Um, it's quite simple to build, being just a two, basically a two-storey box. Um, but facing north, we have the opportunity to create something a bit special with the alfresco roof. Um, and so what we've done, if I pull back a bit further, is We've built out a, uh, a trust structure that we've clad with um, Vakoa timber and that provides the shade for summer, it lets the light in for winter and the sides are also battened out and that helps to meet the privacy requirements for uh, minimising overlooking. The other super cool thing about this house is it's 100% timber frames including the trust work you see up there. The only things that's not timber is the steel posts. But because it was timber framed, we're able to pack the house with insulation and it looks like this wall is solid, looks like a traditional brick home, but this is actually a high performance insulating product called um, Life Panels Wood Fiber uh, Cladding. And it's uh, rendered with a vapor permeable lime render. So you get the look of a traditional house in this area, which is, you know, brick and cement render, but we get all the performance characteristics of a highly insulating uh, material and um, the longevity and the robustness of a lime render. It's a really fantastic product, it looks great and um, it's going to help contribute to the performance of the house in the long run. So the house is built to our typical sort of lean house standards which means it's basically a passive house just not certified, um, it's fully airtight. Um, we've eliminated thermal bridges wherever possible in the construction and we've used high performance um, windows. So these are actually 2.7 meter tall UPVC double glazed uh, sliding doors. All the windows are the same sort of spec um, and being an airtight home it has full heat recovery ventilation system throughout. So the clients have been reporting really comfortable temperatures this winter. I know it's a sunny day today but last night we had uh, 6 degrees so it's not um, you know, it's not uncommon to expect sort of 22 to 24 degrees inside, even on the coldest uh, days and nights. So the brilliant thing about positioning the house on the south side of the block is that you actually get a north facing outlook from the main living spaces and um, all the wonderful light that comes from north as well to help warm up that outdoor living space and warm up the living spaces for free. And that's something that like for example, the neighbors have built a south facing house they wouldn't get, and they certainly wouldn't get the amount of outdoor space that um, we've been able to achieve on this block by designing a more compact home. Same number of bedrooms, it's got four bedrooms plus a study and two bathrooms. So it's a pretty substantial family home, but it's just designed in such a way that it's really compact. and doesn't use up a lot of space in the block and maximize the, you know, the space that's left over for play. Being a passive house, it's all about um, electrical appliances. So what we've got here built into the island is an induction cooktop. And what you can see behind there is actually a pop-up um, range hood that'll be recirculating range hood.